Hey guys, today I'm going to be flashing CM14.1 that is Android 7.1 Nougat on my Moto G3 2015 This is not the turbo edition, the normal one the Moto G3 2015 uh, the device name is Osprey and uh, it's qu quite a surprise that 7.1 ROM has already been released as it's available currently only on the Nexus Pixel originally oh Nexus, sorry, the Google Pixel yeah, so let me quickly begin first of all obviously you will have to uh, the flash, the you know, the tour recovery and all that stuff. Unlock the bootloader, and then uh, let me quickly jump onto the recovery mode. That simple. Just press the power button. I'm currently I'm running on Resurrection Remix, uh, Resurrection Remix ROM, six, Android 6.0. So let me quickly reboot to recovery. So you can get rid of this message. The warning bootloader unlock. Just you have to flash the zip file using the uh, recovery mode. So now, first of all, you obviously have to, before flashing any ROM, you have to wipe the data. So just swipe to factory set. Download links to all the files that is the ROM and the GApps file will be provided in the description below. And if you have any doubts, please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. So all thanks to XDA developers for making this ROM. And now, since factory set is complete, uh, we will have to uh, click on install. And I have stored the files on my micro SD card. CM7.14.1 unofficial Osprey. Sorry if the font is a bit unclear. But now all you have to do is swipe to confirm flash. You definitely have to be patient while the flashing process is going on. Is to flash the gapps file make sure you download the gapps for um the drm version and 7.1 you it's your choice whether you want to uh, download the mini version it's a bit smaller in size 270 around 270 mb and the full version of uh, gapps full for 7.1 is around uh, 500 mb so it's your completely depends on you how many google apps do you want so swipe right to confirm flash this might take a bit of bit longer so sit back and relax this full gapps file will probably install the uh, probably all the google applications that come pre-installed in the nexus phone or uh, i mean the pixel phone so you don't need to install them separately from the play store all you have to do is update them So there are some of the apps in the full version that I probably don't use like cloud print and books and probably movies so you have you what you can do is definitely go with the smaller version that is the nano uh, or the mini version for faster flash and more internal memory definitely obviously if they don't install all these apps uh, the internal memory will be saved the initial boot of this ROM definitely may take some time so Oh, yes, patience is the best medicine. So, wait. All you have to do is wait. Yeah. It's a beta version. So, actually, not beta, it's quite stable from the comments I have gone through. So, uh, let's hope it works good and it's stable. I even flashed the CM14 that is Android 7.0 version but however it, it had bugs yeah, and then even the camera was not working 
and the headphone jack was uh, also uh, uh, the headphones were not getting detected so now i hope all that is fixed so now i am fast forwarding this part as taking quite a lot of time so finally guys uh, installation complete now all you have to do is reboot your system and hope everything is, has been flashed successfully just sit back and grab some popcorn while the welcome screen uh, till the welcome screen shows up so welcome guys tada and here is the cyanogen mod 14.1 finally finally it has booted up so let me quickly jump on to english india okay so music already stopped even before booting the phone so quickly press the next button i will skip the step Yeah, so both of sim both my sims are de have been detected by this phone. That's quite good. So yeah, choose a sim for data. I don't want to choose any sim. Next, no, I don't want don't mobile data. Okay, yeah, I don't have a connection, so I can't sign into any network. Guys, finally, I managed to somehow connect to a Wi-Fi network. No, just I have to be patient. Yeah, so I messed up because I thought <clears throat> I could uh, go ahead without the internet connection. So finally, we are up and running, guys. That was quite difficult to get past that. So let me begin to contribute it, and always. So here is the Android 7.1 Nougat on the Moto G 2015. So here you can see the animation. Let me quickly jump on the settings about phone. Android 7.1 version. Yeah, one thing I want bad I badly wanted to try on this ROM was the app shortcuts. So let me let let us quickly do that. Mm, so this feature seems to be missing. I don't know if it has to be turned on from the settings. So overall, the ROM seems quite fast and stable. No issues whatsoever. So okay, guys. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, please press the like button. Hello guys, this is the review of the Sanjin Mod 7.14.1 on Moto G2015. So finally, I discovered how to get the app shortcuts. Uh, actually, I selected the default launcher as the Tribution launcher, but now uh, when I switch to Google Now launcher, app shortcuts are there. So yeah, that was the feature that I was waiting for, and finally I have it in my phone. That's pretty neat, actually. Voice search, type search, maps. If you home, this you can navigate to home, navigate to work. Email, you can compose an email. That's pretty good, actually. That's just. So now let me quickly jump on the settings. You see, so so here's a cool animation. It's pretty smooth. No lag. Okay, here are all the settings. So here you can uh, swipe left to navigate. The few settings if you want to. So, jump uh, on to more. There's nothing new here. Display. There's adaptive brightness, rotation setting, bright display, ambient display is there. Font size you can change the font size. You can disable or enable the battery light. Storage, no three things, nothing new here. Buttons, let's see what there is in uh, left handed mode. So that's not useful for me at least. 
buttons and layout you can change it power button yeah pretty handy option there just a shortcuts let's see what there yeah so all the chop chop and double twist are there you don't need to worry about those options yeah that's pretty much it guys uh, system right is already activated mm, so yeah that's pretty much it and double tap the recent button to switch between apps working pretty smooth as you can see no lag at all now the feature yeah the multi window feature that i wanted to test hold this okay so i think this app is not supported a bit of time and finally I've opened the multi window you can just click on this Google Chrome and I'll quickly show you the chop chop feature so yeah it's working pretty fine okay sorry the camera is also working Let me quickly show you the picture quality. I hope it's just the same as we used to get in the Marshmallow version. Yeah, so it's the initial boot, so definitely take some time. So don't worry, guys. Let me show you the internet. Uh, let me quickly jump onto YouTube and check whether the internet speeds are uh, working fine or not. And also you can check the speaker, it's working fine, no problems at all. So thank you guys, that was pretty much it. If you have any queries, please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. All queries are welcome. I will reply as soon as possible. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and share the video if this video helped. And thank you, see you guys later.